our teaching and learning. So what we did this year, um, not this year, the previous year, we, we, we looked at our form and we, we started to think about, well, how can we ensure our teachers are focusing on our EAL students? And we do have a large number of SEN students who are also EL, so that's why they're put together. And what we have done is we, um, part of the teacher, development te teacher developer team as well. So what we did, we put together some questions that we want the teachers and also lead teachers to think about. So this form, which was developed as part of the deep dive, was that the, te the teacher developer with the key, key stage coordinator and lead teacher got together and spoke about, well, if I go into this classroom, what am I going to see? What am I going to see your teachers doing for those EAL learners in the classroom? So it was really homing down on what we, the lead teacher had to focus on. Um, and then they would have to explain what they would see in the classroom and explain the strategy they're using. And we have something called the FHS-5, which is up there, which, you know, it's, it's about modeling, challenge, scaffold, um, sequencing. All those things are there, so therefore they have to focus on that as well. Then during the observation itself, after the discussion has taken place, during the observation that will take place again, the focus will be on what has been discussed. And as you can see, um, the observer will comment on what is there and what they are seeing. Now, it may be the case that when they help to come up with a priority, you know, when the lead teacher collates all that information about from the observations, they may identify the fact that they need to look at, as a department, as a whole, um, strategies that they are going to use to support their EAL learners. So this is continuous, uh, we continuously review our teaching and learning policy to ensure that our EAL learners are always focused on and therefore, therefore they are the responsibility of the classroom teacher and not the responsibility of the EAL coordinator. What 